long time ago I did a 50,000 mile review, like like three, four years ago on this truck, 2017 Ford F-250. It was my first Super Duty that I'd ever bought, and I was fully expecting to get a, a GMC 2500 Denali at that time, and local dealer just happened to have one of these. I was like, eh, I'll just go check it out just, just cause, and absolutely loved sitting in it, loved the layout, loved the look, loved driving it. So I went for it. And at that point, it was substantially more money than the Denali. Um, this was like their new redesign, and this is the aluminum body and everything else that they have going into it. I haven't had any issues. There's no, there's not a, a speck of rust on this frame anywhere, or on this, uh, this body anywhere. The truck has been amazing overall. Since doing that 50,000 mile review three, four years ago, let me, let me see when that was. That was January 11th, 2019. So that was more than four years ago, we had 50,000 miles on it. Now there's only not quite 80. This, I'm gonna say 80 is like 79,500 or something. So, but another four years, only put another 30,000 miles on it. Now the reason for that is a few things. It went from my daily driver uh, to only being a shop vehicle where we would um, go pick up or, or deliver tractors. That's what uh, my business is, is buying and selling, or it used to be buying and selling used tractors. And then at a certain point I stopped doing that. And so we just, really seldom used it except when we were moving attachments from point A to point B on the flatbed uh, from one location to the other and and honestly for the last year this thing's maybe had like a thousand miles on it I've done every bit of service there is at four dealers on it um, did recently well last last fall I guess it was spend five thousand six thousand bucks doing all the service there was an exhaust repair of some kind a hood latch issue just regular service and stuff on it too but this thing has been dialed in you can tell i don't i don't know if there's a dent a door ding anywhere on it i always am one of those guys that my my family hates it i park in the back of the parking lot uh so that nobody else parks around me and then we walk in a little bit further but this has been taken really well care of we probably hauled with it about half of those miles so about forty thousand out of the eighty thousand miles it's a 7.3 super duty so it's not it's made to do that, right? Um, but it has not been abused. I mean, the stuff that we're hauling are compact tractors. These things weigh a few thousand pounds. You have a gooseneck or a, a bumper pull trailer, that's another few thousand pounds. Well within the capabilities of it, not, not being overloaded or mistreated in any way. Uh, added a, a transfer tank in the back, 80, 90 gallons, something like that. It's underneath the limit so that it's, it's, it's legal. You don't have to have like a special permit or a special license to be able to uh, carry it around. But um, got it. I got it with the the handle and the nozzle right on there. It's it's not one that's going to automatically feed in as like an extra tank into the to the truck itself. You could fill up your tank here if you want to, but I got it that way. I could use it for filling up tractors and that kind of thing and other equipment as well. And so this truck actually has had three. I think it's three different um, insurance claims on it. One had a i think it was a woodchuck that climbed in underneath and decided to make it its home and then was no longer what, what do they call that aren't alive i think they like to say now um pretty darn quick and so i had to have a radiator and some stuff replaced underneath the hood because of that and that was fun for the um the dealer to clean out that was that was a hot summer day where there was just woodchuck guts all over underneath there uh, i got rear-ended on a highway i was making a left turn and uh, guy just is at night, like six o'clock at night in the winter. He never even saw my brake lights, even though turn signal brake lights were on and he just rear-ended me going 55 or 60 miles an hour. Had to redo the back bumper and the back body, uh, of the, uh, the bed and a couple other like tail lights and that kind of thing on there. And then the third one uh, was sitting at my shop parking lot and I made a video about this one. I don't, I don't know, I can't say for sure, they never caught who did it, but two days earlier I told the dad and his son that they couldn't make skateboarding videos doing jumps off the retaining wall in my parking lot out there. Never had a lick of trouble, and then two days later, uh, all the tires were slashed, uh, I think one of the windows was smashed, the truck was keyed, the trailer tires were smashed, or slashed. It did like over $10,000 worth of damage uh, from whoever did that. Again, can't say it was them, never had a lick of trouble besides that. Just two days later after I tell this, this dad and his son that they can't do what they're doing out there, this happened, so maybe it's just a coincidence, right? Anyway, folks, the truck's clean. It's been serviced with every single thing that it's possibly needed. I just do that with all my equipment. It's just not worth letting things get too far gone or that's gonna cost you more to get it back and could be a dangerous situation. This is the Lariat Edition. Lariat, Lariat, whatever, however you want to say it. 
just had it detailed. It's nice and clean in here. It's pretty much loaded up, right? It doesn't have massaging seats, uh, but it's got uh, cooled seats, heated seats, power seats. It's got, you know, the, the dual sunroof, telescoping mirrors on it, tow package. These are fixed running boards. These are not the power running boards. If I had my pick, like on my new King Ranch, I would, I would have only got the fixed running boards. I think those power running boards on anything are just something waiting to go wrong with everything I've had in the past. In fact, our expedition is going into the shop, hopefully tomorrow, to have a running board motor replaced again. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. There's two things I don't like about this truck and that's really about it. Uh, one is it's got the, the old fashioned, the, the halogen headlights on here. If I can find them, I actually bought an LED conversion kit, a nice one, um, and I will include that. I'm not gonna install it, but I'll include that along with it if I can find it um, for you, the new owner to do it. And then the other thing is it doesn't have the blind spot, the bliss system on here so that, you know, if there's somebody in your blind spot, a little yellow or orange indicator comes up and lets you know. Um, that's what my newer, my King Ranch has on there. Um, we've got a 450 now too, but that's more of a work truck. And I feel like, well, maybe that one has bliss on there or not, but it, maybe it only had the halogen lights, but it, it, didn't, it didn't have LED lights but it had the bliss system. I think that's what it was on the 450, but that's what we've also done too, is we replaced the 250 with a 450 flatbed, um, not a crew cab, just a, just a standard cab with a flatbed on there. It's just more of a, an expensive shop truck, but it's you know designed for what we're doing with it. If we need to deliver something, we can just put it on, on a flatbed on, on the back here, and then the customer can pick it off with their front end loader and that kind of thing. It's, it's just set up better. Um, and if we do need to haul something really heavy with a big gooseneck and like throw my skid steer on there or, or something else on there, then we have a, a really heavy duty truck to be able to handle those bigger loads. You know, but this really is the truck that got it started for me. I bought three other Super Duties since then. Uh, actually, actually, well, they didn't call that a Super Duty. I bought a, a 97 F-250 as well and then an F-150. So it's kind of, it kind of kicked off my love for Ford um, or reignited it. My very first vehicle was a Ford F-150 actually long, long time ago. Now I'm confident this is gonna be one of the cleanest six-year-old trucks that are out there with 80,000 miles on it. I really have taken as good a care of it as I possibly can. Uh, I always put these tires on them too. They, they come with a, this is standard street tire on there. I like these, uh, these BFGs. Um, these have really good tread. These are, gosh, these can't be the originals. I must've replaced these at some point. They've got really good tread on them though too. There's nothing that you're gonna to need to do on this truck when you get it. You know, so this is a bit sentimental for me to get rid of it, but I, there's just no point. I need to get rid of equipment. I've got way too many trucks and tractors right now. I need to get rid, and gators too. <laughs> I gotta get rid of stuff and just downsize. Otherwise, sitting around is not doing them any good. And so that's what we're doing. We're gonna be selling this truck, gonna be selling the gator, gonna be selling some tractors. It's just time to, to pare it all down. So folks, if you're looking for a one owner, six year old vehicle, for a heck of a lot less than new cost right now, especially with all this inflation crap. This is gonna be about as nice as you can find right here. So if you wanna know if I'd recommend a Super Duty, I definitely would. Not that they don't have problems because I've made videos about the problems that they have, but I don't think it's just me because everything that I have mechanical <laughs> has problems with it at some point. Doesn't matter if it's trucks or tractors or UTVs or my house or anything, right? So I love them, I keep coming back to them. They're treating me really well overall, and I think they'll work for you too. Now, while we make occasional truck videos around here, most of those are gonna be tractor videos that we put out. And if you own a tractor, well, guess what? We can help you out with tractor attachments for the front end loader and the three-point hitch. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. If you're looking for more reviews on Ford trucks, well, we've done quite a few of those. So check out that playlist on our channel. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.